Hey, hey, hey! What is going on, my friends? My name is Python, and welcome back to the Python GB channel. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. A lot of you guys will know from my recent apology slash heart to heart video that uh, from here on out, I am going to be focusing on one series on the Python GB channel. Okay, I just feel like it's a lot easier to maintain uh, in terms of maintaining multiple channels. But, you know, we won't talk about that too much. Guys, we're playing Terraria. This series is called Ultimate Terraria, okay? And I'll go over why that is in just a bit. We've actually already got a character set up. We're going to go for a new world, Corruption, Master, Large World. And then this is just going to be called Ultimate Terraria main world and that should be a little bit of a hint as to one of the things we're going to be doing in this uh, series okay so enter seed we're just going to put python gb in there and i guess let's see what kind of world that will generate so yeah my friends i decided to just sort of restart my terraria stuff all together and then just focus on one series so like i say my friends if you are excited for that please do be sure to drop a like rating and just to sort of list off some of the things we're going to be doing in this series Obviously, we're on master mode. We're using a large world. And also, we are going to be making use of multiple Terraria worlds in this series, okay? So, for example, we're going to generate another world at some point, which is going to be the Crimson, right? So, we can allow ourselves to get Crimson materials to bring over into our main world, okay? And there's other things that we could probably, you know, obtain. For example, the Bundle of Blooms is a great thing to go for, isn't it? You have to have multiple worlds to get that bad boy. So, yeah. In terms of other things, though, my friends... Serious goals, I mean, they're pretty high-end goals, okay? 100% bestiary goal is definitely one of them. 100% pure world is definitely one of them. And, yeah, guys, it's going to be so huge. This series is going to be huge, okay? So, I hope you guys are excited. The death count is back. Comment of the day continues on, my friends. And, of course, like I say, if all goes well. This is going to be a daily series. Guys, I'm so excited. Let's get this thing underway. I feel like we're starting a new era on the big GB channel, my friends. And honestly, I'm excited. I've had a good amount of time to think about my direction going forward. And I am doing this off of my own back. I want to be able to get to the end game of Terraria 1.4, okay? Because I haven't even got there yet. So yeah, let's get this move to the cloud. And ladies and gentlemen, ultimate main world. Here we go. Oh, snappers. Okay, looking great. Okay, so what we're going to do first of all is just zoom ourselves in a little bit there. There we go, looking good, isn't it? All right, so what have we got here? Heavy uh, negative speed, that's never a good thing. However, the axe has better speed. Good. Can you imagine if I got a slime staff right at the beginning here? Like, honestly, could you actually imagine if we managed to get that? That would be so insane. Oh, my word. I, I low-key kind of want to get a slime staff. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Oh dear. Alright, come on, baby. You need to. Ow! Son of a gun! Get out of here! There we go. Hey, we've got some day bloom already. That's great. Alright, I'm going to pick these mushrooms up. Useful for potions, of course. Good stuff. And we'll continue getting ourselves some wood. Ah, uh, yeah. So, one of the other goals I have for this series is getting the Supreme Helper Minion achievement done. We actually grinded it out quite a lot on the two previous series that we tried to do on Terraria 1.4. Uh, but, yeah, this is the series, okay? This is the series of getting things done, okay? I'm so excited. I really, really am. So, yeah, I just got myself a... Is that a peach or an apple? I didn't see the pickup text. It's a peach! Ah, I got a lot of juicy, ripe peach. Mmm, beautiful. All right, well, I guess we're going to explore a little bit, see what kind of things we've got going on in the world, right? And yeah, oh, that's a good start. Hey, hey, that is a good start. All right, well, let's go and grab ourselves some uh, Torchios real quick. And let us see if we can find ourselves a chest or two. That would be fantastic. All right, well, nothing to report so far not really there does appear to be another cave down to our left uh doesn't seem to be too much going on there what about this cave over here i mean i'm kind of interested to have at least a little bit of a look uh the only th oh the music just changed all right well i think that's the windy day theme right ah interesting i like it i like it all right come on baby big money big money let me have a chest baby come on my dude i want some chests I want goodies. I want epic stuff. I want a finch staff. I want all the things. Is there anything down here? I can't quite tell. Eh. Can I like... Ooh. Okay, well, I was able to light it up, but there was just nothing down there. 
Aha. Uh -huh. So, let's get up top here. Let's see what we can find, my friends. We're going to see if we can find ourselves some good old goodies. Some good goodies. you got to love the good goodies, right? <laughs> if I die to a green slime, that would be literally the most embarrassing way in... Son of a gun. That'd be literally the most embarrassing way in the entire world to die. Like, I'm not even kidding, bro. Look at this guy. Oh, look at you. It's a, it's a dude. Hey, there you go. There you go. There you go. Oh. Oh, you want to try it, do you? Give me your gel. Ow! Son of a gun. I'm pretty sure we're near death at this point. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> 25 health. Yeah, your boy isn't looking so good right about now. I don't like that. All right. Do that. Nothing. Oh. Hang on a minute. Nah, there's not. Then nah. That I'm sorry. That that just can't be an enchanted sword shrine. We're not close enough to the outer reaches of the world where they typically generate, right? Um. So yeah. I mean, obviously, if we managed to find one, that'd be stupidly lucky, wouldn't it? But let's be honest. The chances of us finding one on our first episode are pretty remote. And you know what that means? It means we're probably going to find one now, huh? <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be an amazing first episode? Holy poop. Oh, God. It's a desert. Oh, God. There we go. Wow. Two damage, guys. You see that? I'm doing freaking two damage to this guy. I don't even have any recall potions. What kind of crummy, crumb poo poo stuff is that? Nope. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I killed a freaking dude. I am so happy right now. Like, I don't think you guys quite understand just the level of happiness I have in my heart right now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, God. Oh, stop it. Stop hurting me. Respect my personal space there, sir. All right, let's come down here. Oh, what do you know? Yet again, no freaking chests. What is up with that, bro? How have we not come across any chests yet? This is unbelievable. I am actually kind of in disbelief. You normally find a chest or two down in these kind of places. You know what I'm saying? But no. Wait, is there like a giant load of copper down here? Okay. Okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We're getting bigger. I'm starting to slowly but surely learn the new surface ore distribution in Terraria 1.4. And one thing I have come to realize is if you see just a couple bits of ores just sort of dotted around, go ahead and just sort of dig down. You're going to find yourself a freaking ginormous load of ore. I mean, look at this, man. The amount of copper that's going on here. Jesus Christ. This vein took an almighty amount of time to dig out. Look at that. 93 from one ore vein. That's, that's pretty special, that is. Holy moly. All right, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I'm just going to chop down this tree real quick. I mean, a little bit more in the wood department, I think, would always be a good thing. 277. It might also be a nice idea to maybe pick up all of these sunflowers and then maybe buy some. Because one of the other things I think I'd like to do is the hashtag buff the world thing that we did on our previous 1.3 Let's Play. I thought that was a really, really good idea. Basically, you just place down buffs to cover the entire world. No matter where you are, you've got increased life regen, increased speed, all that kind of epic stuff. And it's, it's just a great time. It really, really is. No matter where you are, you've just got enhanced stats. I think it's just a great idea. I really, really do. So, yeah, like I say, like, you know, this series, it's going to be here to stay, okay? It is. Believe me. All right, so let's pop down here. Usually, usually, when you find, like, a proper cave entrance in Terraria like we have, uh, you typically find an underground house that it leads to, right? Or, in this case, we have just found ourselves a freaking minecart track. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm kind of down with that. All right, boom. Let us see what we can find. So we've got lead. We've got plenty of other things going on. You know what? I mean, since we've already got a pretty substantial amount of copper, I feel like just getting some more would be a good idea. I know it's only copper. Usually, I would just pass it up. But, I don't know, man. We might even be able to make full copper armor by the end of today's episode. I mean, you get, I think it's like a two defense bonus. All right, all right, all right. Come on, baby. Give me an underground house. That would be fantastic. Underground house or maybe a heart crystal or something. Ooh, that's, that's very dark. Uh, all right, well, we just picked up some potions. I guess that's a pretty good thing. Right. Come on. Oh, there's a little mousey running along there. I won't lie. He kind of jump scared me a little wee bit there. Just got to be careful. Come on. Show me the money. Show me a house. 
There's normally some sort of treasure if you follow a minecart track along, right? That's normally what happens. I don't know. We seem to be pretty unlucky so far again, huh? There's more copper. Oh, God. Ah! Okay. No, he seems pretty chill, actually. And now I can't see. Oh! Okay. Oh, that's slightly better, I guess. <laughs> oh, my God. I just don't know what's going on at this point. I still don't have a recall potion, so I can't even, like, just teleport back. And I have a very limited supply of torches in that uh, I have one. <laughs> That's all I've got, guys. Die, blue slime. Get off my minecart track. It's mine, you son of a gun. There we go. Ah, there we go. All right, a little bit more in the torch department, I guess, is pretty good. And now we've got a yellow slime. Hey there, buddy. Oh, wow, I'm doing one damage to the... He's got 135 pounds. Are you kidding? Dude, it's going to take freaking years to kill this guy. Hang on a minute. Ha <laughs> ha! Eat it, sucker. To be honest with you guys, a lot of people would go ahead and just set up a first base somewhere and then make gear. But when it actually comes down to it, we should hopefully be able to get everything we need, like, right now. So I'm just going ahead and chopping up some stone here real quick. We're going to use it to make a furnace. We've got more than enough lead to make ourselves an anvil, I do believe. And then, yeah, we should be pretty good. All right, I tell you what, I'm just going to make like a little mini station over here. Uh, I think two more blocks because it's three for furnace, two for workbench, and then two more for an anvil. Okay, so we just place that down. And where is it? There we go. So there's a furnace. We can make a yo-yo. Holy crap. Well, I didn't even realize that. That actually might not be a bad idea. Ah, uh, eh, let's knock back. I mean, at least there's not less damage. Uh, you know, there's worse things to cry about, I guess. All right, silver bar. And there's a bunch of lead. Okay. And, of course, let's make ourselves all of the copper. 50. Okay, that's a pretty good amount, I'd say. Right. Can we make anything out of the lead? Yes, we can. We can make either a broadsword or a bow. Uh, I mean, ordinarily, I would go for a broadsword. Uh, actually, it's kind of tempting because it's like a three damage increase compared to the uh, copper one. Right, let's go for this one. Hey, it's a good one as well. Nice. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, in grand total, we need, I think, 60 bars. If my calculations are done right. So, we need, what, 28 more copper ore. And then we can have full copper armor. And I guess that's not too bad, right? It's not too bad at all, I'd say. Hey, I can even... I can take down this slime behind here. <laughs> what a dummy. Go on, get out of here. That's one other goal I want to have in this series. I don't want to have to use a death camp because I don't want to die too much, okay? Simple as that. I want to try and stay alive a bunch more, you know? I don't want to be a freaking noob. I want to be a professional. I mean, I've put 2,000 plus hours into this darn game. Uh, according to Steam alone, that is. So, yeah, I feel like, I feel like we should do... A better job, all right? Oh, God. Oh, you do 40 damage? Jesus Christ. That is a pretty hefty amount. All right, well... Oh, boy. Oh, we got this guy. All right, well, thankfully... Okay, we're actually doing decent amounts of damage this time. We're not doing just freaking one. Because that's pretty embarrassing, isn't it? Doing one damage against an enemy. There we go. Wow, I've got three gel from that. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, guys. So, find a couple more deposits of copper. So, let's go ahead and do this thing. If my calculations are correct, 60 is going to be enough for a full set of copper armor, right? Yep, there we go. Fantastic. So, zero defense up to six. And, yeah, it is a two defense bonus increase. Okay, fantastic. Definitely down with that. And we've got seven silver. We can actually make ourselves a silver bow with that. So, I'll tell you what. Let's do it. Just so we've got ourselves a ranged weapon. And, yeah, aside from that, I think we're looking pretty good, guys. All right, are there any other avenues I have not explored yet? Uh, I think there was, like, a little chasm down here, which I'd very much like to see where... Oh, which I'd very much like to see where that goes. Uh, nowhere. It literally goes nowhere. Ugh. All right, well, I'll take the cobwebs, nonetheless. How much have we got? Nine? We're going to need some more than that if we want to make ourselves a bed here, my friends. Uh-huh. All right, a uh, little bit more copper over there. I mean, now that we've got armor, I don't really think we need to worry too much about copper. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty... Ow. I'm pretty... Ah! I'm pretty happy with uh, just having the armor, to be honest with you. Six defense is definitely going to be better than none, right? Uh-huh. Is this a top? I think it is. Ha! 
Come kill me though, sucker! Not at all, not at all. I ain't having that today. None of that. Ooh, daytime music. Hey, I like it. It's daytime again. That's good to know. Good to know. All right, I kind of still want to explore just a little bit down here. Maybe there's at least something of worth? I'm quite surprised that we haven't found a chest yet. You know? Normally when you find a proper cave entrance into a mountain or something, you typically tend to get at least a chest or two, right? Well, at least we found ourselves a bunch of cobwebs, so that's another sort of side goal done. We have the ability to set our spawn point, if we so wish, by creating a bed. So that is great. I'm very happy with that, actually. All right, uh, for now, though, I am having to stick with a singular torch. So that's all I have. That's all I can afford. <laughs> I am a poor person. I might be covered in copper. <sighs> but I'm poor. I'm a poor guy. Oh, goodness me. All right, what do we got down here? Anything for anything. There is a vase down there. Ooh. Wait, did we just get shurikens and money from that thing? You normally get one or the other, right? Huh, that's interesting. All right, get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Oh, oh goodness me, there's another one. Uh-huh, come on. Lead down to a freaking uh, chest or something. Like, oh god, make it worth my while at least. Okay, hang on, hang on. I nearly. Oh. I don't think I would have been able to take many more hits there, my friends. Uh oh. Sandstone, guys. That can only mean one thing. The, undergr the underground desert is around us, isn't it? Eek. I don't like that. Those freaking tomb crawler worm dudes. They are not cool. They are not okay. No. Dude, are you kidding me? Okay, l let me just let me just put this into perspective for you guys. Before, wh when was it they in the introduced the Enchanted Sword Shrine by him? Was it 1.3 or 1.2? I can't remember. But I have never, okay, in all capitals, I have never found an Enchanted Sword Shrine, a real one, outside... Of an enchanted sword shrine by him. This is literally the first time. What was I saying about luck? I can't make this up, dudes. I actually can't. Dude, I can't make this up. Bro. Bro. That's it. I think that's the peak of the amount of luck we're going to get in this series, ladies and gentlemen. Like, I don't think anything is going to compete with that. I truly don't think anything is going to compete with that. I have never found an enchanted sword shrine, a real one, outside of its own biome. I knew that they could generate outside of their biome, like in an extremely, extremely rare circumstance. I've just never found one. I can't believe that, bro. I, 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 I can't believe that. I honestly can't. I guess if you, guy, if you guys use the same seed, then you should be able to find it as well, right? I'm pretty sure it sort of carries over all of the different things you have in your world. You know, it's part of the seed, isn't it? So, there you go. You saw it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Enchanted sword. I, I'm actually in disbelief right now. <laughs> I truly am. Wow. Okay. Well, like I say, my friends, I genuinely do not think anything is going to top that. So, I'm probably going to end the episode in just a little bit before I wind up tainting my amazingly epic luck by dying or something stupid. You know? Oh, dude. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. <laughs> Can we get a like rating for the insanely epic luck? Like, that has got to be the luckiest thing I've ever had happen. I mean, obviously, us getting the Arcalis, which actually, in 1.4, you can't get the Arcalis anymore, can you? Or is it... Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. It's, it's part of a developer set now, isn't it? I can't remember. There is a replacement for the Arcalis in 1.4, but I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called. Uh, so, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's like the same chance of getting it from an enchanted sword shrine. It's like one in ten instead of the enchanted sword. Uh, but yeah, I've still, I've still yet to ever have it in the first place. So, it's kind of nuts. Alright, guys. Well, oh, mama! Dude! 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 What the hell? Oh my god. I hate her, buddy. You only you had like one damage against you before. Now I'm doing a whole bunch. 
Alright, I, I, I don't even know what to say at this point, my friends. Aside from, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed our very first episode here, please do be sure, of course, to drop a like rating. I mean, come on! A like rating for that incredible luck. You gotta. The Python GB seed. It's a lucky one, guys. Who would have known? Huh? Who would have freaking known? Wait! Can you imagine? Oh, I wonder... <laughs> you see, now I'm theory crafting, okay? Terraria devs, they've been inserting their own Terraria seeds into Terraria. And they know, from watching me in the Yoxcast Jingle Jam, they know that I am someone who is very, very good at getting enchanted swords in Terraria, right? So what do you guys think are the actual chances of them having put in a Python GB seed that has an enchanted sword shrine outside of its biome? Eh? Eh? Theory crafting? I don't think it's the case. I think it is just blind coincidence. But, I, I don't know, man. You just never know. You just never freaking know. Like, the world is a crazy place. The world is a crazy freaking place, isn't it? You know? The stars can align sometimes, my friends. Oh, I, I'm so... Uh, I just don't know what to say. Guys, like I say, if you've enjoyed today's episode, please do be sure to drop a like rating. Do be sure to hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on a future content. Uh, but for now, that is going to just about wrap it up for today's episode. Let's just have a quick whiz on this minecart real quick. If there's any... Oh, snappers. Hang on. Okay, that's the second one we found. You know what? For the first episode, guys, this has been an absolute freaking banger. Hasn't it? Hey? <laughs> wow. Just wow. Oh my god. god uh, I feel like I'm doing you guys a disservice if I don't pick this stuff up. You know? You're finding all these things in the outro and it's like, mate, mate, you, 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 got, you can't just leave us hanging like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. Alright, let me guess. There's gonna be a No! What the hell? Dude! I'm actually really scared now. You know how sometimes in life you get such an insane amount of luck that it starts getting suspicious? Um, yeah. But this is this is one of those times, ladies and gentlemen. I I am scared. I am scared. My goodness, I can't believe that. This cave system has gone from being one of the worst starter cave Hey! One of the worst starter cave systems in history to probably the best. Like hands down the best. Whoa. And this goes all the way to a mushroom biome. Alright, guys. That'll do. That'll do. There's your cliffhanger. Guys, check out next episode where we check out this mushroom biome. I'm actually kind of in disbelief that we haven't died either. So, yeah. Guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. Hit the like rating if you haven't already. If you have enjoyed today's episode. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode.